everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mommy Says here on the Toy Insider. Thank you so much to the Toy Insider for giving me this little corner of your YouTube channel every other week. Um, I'm here this week and next Monday Mike from Hey That's Mike will be here to talk to you about something having to do with toys, parenting, something, something. I don't know, we always come up with something. So um, Mike talked about things to put in the Easter basket, so he stole my thunder, but that's okay because I'm gonna steal your thunder, Mike, and I am going to talk about spring because as I sit here filming this, it is the first day of spring. Of course, this is gonna go up tomorrow, so it'll already be spring. And we are also sitting here in the New York City area awaiting a wonderful snowstorm because it's the first day of spring, but that will not deter me from talking about getting outside. Absolutely one of the most important things for your child's health, even if you live in the greater New York City area where the air quality is probably poo poo, um, it's still very important to get outside, get that exposure to the sun. Yes, I know skin cancer, but you know what? If we're not baking in the sun, it's okay to go out without sunscreen. Really, it is. Um, get that vitamin D, get that fresh air, get those bodies moving, and especially as our kids get older. See, now Gracie's 12 and a half, and um, you know, as they get into this age, unless they're involved in some sort of a sport at school, which Gracie is not, never has been a sports kid, she's an arts kid. So an art is a very not active, um, you know, it's active with the fingers, active with the head, not so active with the body. But Gracie's actually um, naturally a very physically active person, um, luckily. And part of that has to do with her way of, of burning off stress is to move her body. But if you have a kid who tends to be more into the sedentary pursuits of life, like video games, uh, watching YouTube, stuff like that, um, sometimes you gotta come up with ways to get them to go outside. So um, one of the things that um, I, a lot of families I know do, and, and it's really awesome, and, and Gracie and I do it as well, Daddy does not come with us, is um, go for a walk around the neighborhood. Um, there are a couple of families in our neighborhood that do it. Um, and, uh, but it's just, it's like simple, easy exercise, and um, if, if your child's in the mood to not have the headphones on, it's a really great time to connect and talk and just, you know, and just listen to them more. I think, you know, it's more about me listening to Gracie than me talking to Gracie. Um, so I definitely recommend just getting out there and going for a walk, whether it's after dinner or whether you live close enough to school where you really don't necessarily need to drive. Like we literally live around the block from the grammar school that Gracie went to and, um, we walked it until until the MS uh, started to take my legs away. We walked it as much, you know, unless it was like super freezing out. And when we would drive, we'd be like, we're so lame <laughs> driving like around the block. Um, you know, so try walking to or from school. Um, going for a walk after dinner is, um, especially as the weather is nicer and the sun is setting later, um, that's a fun thing to do. But okay, so uh, other than going for a walk, mommy, um, what else can I do to get my kids to go outside? Like, how do I get them away from the YouTube and the video games? Well, get some fun things. There are toys designed to be used outside. Yes, that's right. So I have a couple of things here. Um, some newer items that uh, we saw at Toy Fair. One of them is uh, from Razor, and these are like uh, Heelys, sort of. These are Razor Jets heel wheels. Um, and these are, so they're not exactly, it's not roller skates, it's not a scooter. Um, it's still going to involve fresh air, being outside, and um, physical activity, and it requires working on your balance. Because okay, so do you see what's going on there? Sorry for the glare. So you put this, uh, wrap it around the heel, of your sneaker and then you 
And then you uh, they're for ages six and up without the sparks and with the sparks ages eight and up. There's no assembly required. So, you know, it's, it's rolling, but you still have to balance. You have to get yourself moving, um, but it's fun. It's sparks. It's different. Um, you can find these in Toys R Us where you find like scooters and roller skates and stuff like that. So that's a fun thing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's different. So it'll get them to be like, oh, check this out. Oh, but we can't do this in the house. Gotta go outside. Um, another thing that although you could use these inside, if your house is as small as ours, you really don't want something that shoots 40 feet in the house, do you? Um, so, I mean, there are all different kinds of, um, you know, dart guns. Um, this one in particular um, is a Nickelodeon uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themed one. And these darts are super soft, actually. Um, so you could maybe use it in the house a little more safely, um, but they shoot 40 feet. So, you know, just going outside and having like, you know, a dart gun battle, like a Nerf gun battle or some other kind of dart gun. Um, and, and, you know, just letting, doing that with your kids. Like, I'm not talking about, by the way, I'm not talking about telling your kids to go out inside and play. Okay, we had this conversation last year when I first um, started doing this, this vlog. I'm not talking about you telling them to go outside and play. I'm talking about you, you going outside with your children and playing with your children, not going outside and watching them play. I'm talking about you playing with them because trust me, it's gonna be way more fun for all of you if you get involved. Oh, but I'm gonna fall and break my butt. Well, you're probably not gonna fall and break your butt. You probably are gonna fall if you try this and it's probably gonna be really funny. Um, you know, wear all the guards that you've made your kid wear, right? Um, I can't shoot these things. Even funnier for your kids if they're shooting the craziness out of you and you are missing them every time. Get out there and play with them. Just go outside and play with your kids. Another new thing um, that we saw at Toy Fair, and I cannot wait until Gracie and I have a sunny day, it's Paddle Bubble. This is from the people who did Juggle Bubble. And it's the same kind of concept, only it's um, instead of gloves, so you're instead of juggling it with your hand, the gloves are actually on the paddles. So the idea is, is that you can, you can pretty much like play ping pong or paddle ball or whatever with bubbles. Um, and this is fun no matter what age you are. Um, this was really, we were playing with this at Toy Fair. This is so fun and I cannot wait uh, for us to get a decent day so we can go outside and play with this. Um, but yeah, bubbles are always fun outside and there's lots of new different ways to use bubbles. And um, you know, there's juggle bubble and, and um, there's wobble bubble. And you know, one other thing, if you have little kids, and um, you have some, uh, like if you do the plastic Easter eggs um, for the Easter egg hunt um, next weekend, I don't know about your kids, but my daughter, um, when she was little, we did Easter egg hunt like a million times all year long. But you know, you can go to the like dollar spot at Target, get like a bag of these for like a dollar, right? And then, you know, um, you know that big bin of Shopkins? Your bin might not be as big as ours. This isn't even all the Shopkins, but um, so so put Shopkins inside the eggs and hide them around the yard. Or if you don't have a yard, go to the park and hide them around, you know, a little area of the park. And then, um, whoops, so professional, do an Easter egg hunt or just an egg hunt. Um, and you know, it's a good, it's a good way to get outside. It's fun. And then, and then, Okay, and then have them hide the eggs because we used to do this with Gracie. She'd be like, it's my turn to hide the eggs. We'd have to cover our eyes and she would hide the eggs and then we would have to go look for them. And you don't have to put new stuff in them. Put stuff you already have, you know? Put Shopkins you already have. It doesn't matter. Put anything that you already have. Doesn't have to be chocolate. Doesn't have to be money. Just something that fits inside an egg. Um, and get outside, hide some eggs. I don't care if it's June, you can do a, an egg hunt in June. There's no law that says you can only do it on Easter, okay? So the most important thing that I am trying to convey here is that here in the Northeast and around the country, winter is over, spring is coming, 
get outside with your children. Don't send them outside. You go with them and go outside and play and have some fun. And you will thank me for it. I, I guarantee it. Come here, come back after you do it and thank me. I guarantee it. So thank you again to The Toy Insider for giving me this little corner of your YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe to The Toy Insider so you always are up to date on newest toys coming out and you get to see Mike and I on Mondays. And make sure you go check out thetoyinsider.com for the latest toy reviews. Um, it'll help you figure out what gifts to get, give or get for kids of every age. And if your kid's looking at a toy, you can get a little review of it and decide if it's the right thing for your family or not. Make sure to check me out on the Mommy and Gracie show. I am there six days a week. And until I see you again in two weeks, Mike will be back next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.